Hello Phil Scouts, today we are going to be talking about the outdoor code. So even though we say it every day, that doesn't mean that you understand what it means. So for it as an American, I will do my best. That can go for a lot of things, but what it stands for in the outdoor code, it means take care of everything to the best of your ability. So that doesn't mean it's like it's basically a summary of everything else that's in the outdoor code is just that one little statement so it means leave no trace make sure that the fire pits are put out properly fires in the fire pits are put out properly the fire pits are cleaned properly before you make a fire other things like that so the second part of the outdoor code is be clean in your outdoor manners. That would be like leave no trace. So make sure that you pick up all your trash, make sure that your campsite is better than you left it, and don't throw trash on the ground and then just leave it there for the next campers to come pick it up. Because you never know. It might be a few years or a few months or weeks before the next group of campers comes in and cleans it, and by then, it's already buried, so now it's gone entirely, or some animal ate it. Um, the third part would be be careful with fire. So that's prevent wildfires to the best of your ability. So that would go for cleaning out the fire pit. Like if there's a bunch of dry pine needles in there, don't just build a fire on top of that. Because, yeah, it's going to light, but now you've got pine needles and pine straw and stuff and it's all leading out of the fire pit so then you can make a lot you can make a wildfire that way there's a match that isn't put out properly and you just throw it out on the ground and it starts a wildfire you don't want to do that so the fourth part of the outdoor code would be be considerate in the outdoors so that's treat everything and everyone with respect that doesn't mean oh you see a snake on the ground quick pin its head and then stab it it's not doing anything to you and it's just a small it's just a sad little snake that's gone about its day and you come along and you just kill it why that it, it wasn't a threat so why kill it at all and same with other people that are on the trail. Not just fellow campers, but also just hikers. Or, uh, what should, what are they called? Striders. Them. Just leave them alone. Don't be like, oh, there's a spider and a spider web right here. Let's just push them into the spider web and take off running. Because now they're going to have a spider on them and they're going to be mad at me. Oh yes, this is the best plan ever. No, just just leave them alone. That's not that's not respect. So the fifth part of the outdoor code is be conservation minded. And that's keep everything clean. It's kind of like it's kind of like the second part, be clean my outdoor manners. But this pay but this is on two twenty four. It says, I will learn about, I will learn about and practice good conservation of soil, waters, forests, minerals, grasslands, wildlife, and energy. I will urge others to do the same. So keep conservation in mind all, at, all the time. I will urge others, I will, I will, and you will make decisions that are good for the environment. Sharing information is one of the best ways to learn to discuss with your fellow scouts how conservation guides your decisions. Okay, that doesn't mean go to Wikipedia and figure out how to successfully make a fire. Or go to Wikipedia and figure out how animals live their daily lives. That means go to nature and find out how they live their lives through nature. Um, that's all I have to say for this lesson, and here is the lesson sheet.